Hello everyone. Welcome to Boost Product Filter and Search Tutorial Video Series. In this video, we will show you how to set up filters on your preferred themes. Here is a side note. After the installation process, product filter and search features are automatically set up on a duplicated version of your live theme, called Boost Commerce Live Theme with Filter and Search 1. This is to give you a preview of how an online store looks after setting up filters and search. You can then apply our filters to whichever theme you're using. Now, let's see how you can install filter and search features of Boost into a specific theme. Currently, we are in the app dashboard. From there, navigate to the theme tab in the menu bar. Then, choose theme setup. The themes that currently have our filter are shown here. You'll see theme right after you open the theme setup tab. Click preview to check how it looks on the front store. Scroll down a little bit to our auto setup. Click on the set up new theme button to start installing our app on your theme. This process has only two steps. The first step is duplicate your theme. We strongly recommend duplicating your theme before setting up the filter and search on the duplicated version so that you can have a backup copy. We have prepared a document link for you to duplicate it in case you don't know how to do it. If everything is set, click on I have duplicated my theme. Now let's move to the next step. Choose the theme you would like to set up the features on from the list of your current themes. For example, I choose debut theme. Then, choose the filter position. If the filter is in the left column, it will look like this. And the filter on top will look like this. For example, I choose left column. Finally, click run setup to finish the process. Now, let's see how to revert the theme setup. With this feature, you can remove our filter and search features from your theme. From our app dashboard, navigate to the theme tab. Then, choose theme setup. Select the theme in which you want to remove our app features, then click on actions. Here you have two options. The first option is remove all filters and search features. Then, click remove. The other option is remove search features only. Choose this if you want to disable our search feature, and use only our filter feature on your site. And click remove. In both cases, if you want to revert the setup on a live theme, a notification will pop up like this. Again, we recommend duplicating your themes first before reverting. If it's done, then click yes, remove anyway. By this way, you can safely remove our app's code from a theme to avoid any unnecessary error when browsing the collection page. That wraps up today's tutorial video. Thanks for your watching. Reach us at our email displayed on the screen if you need any further assistance. Thank you.